game? Uh, I think that Toki, like I said earlier before this, uh, definitely the one the, the favorite in this matchup is would be Wen Sushi. Just looking at the decks from a general point of view, because Toki is missing a lot. Like I said earlier, like his his card combinations is very weird. Usually, and you don't necessarily see two predictions played in a rogue deck. It's kind of overkill, in my opinion. Wait. Uh, Why is he playing his rogue again? Yeah, I don't know. Give me a minute. Okay, that's, that's a little bit weird. It's kind of uh, interesting. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I think his his best bet is to actually play... Let's see, he, the, the, the decks that he's brought are Rogue, Warrior, and Shaman. He definitely needs to play... Shaman actually doesn't do so bad against a druid, in my opinion. Yeah. It's not as bad. I think he would have a better option if he were to play as the Shaman there. But uh, looking at his at his uh, deck list, mm -hmm. the wep uh, again, not the weapon, sorry, the cards again is a little bit iffy in my opinion. So yeah. Yep. Very, very so. Weird. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm looking at a deck of uh, Toki right now in my spare time since I'm like doing ten jobs together. But uh, we have like the we have a warrior that don't have Gromash shell scream. We have a shaman that basically don't really have anything as well. So I mean, Toki must have been a relatively new player, and he's just yeah. kind of like got fed to the uh, wolves kind of situation here. It's just yeah. so grim. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him that but, he has to wait, face I up against. Yeah, but I have to say this, you know, even if it doesn't have any you know, legendaries and <gasps> all that sexy looking thing, you know, it's still okay because this game, it's just, you have a lot of legendary replacement cards that are pretty good by all means. Of course, we need some legendary just to make, you know, a little bit extra OP in this entire game, but not having a legendary doesn't really kill you because it's RNG based, so he still has a pretty good shot at this, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, it's okay shot, but the thing the thing that worries me is the fact that yeah, I mean, so what? Uh, you got a couple. I mean, you don't really have legendaries, but the problem is the rest of his other cards they don't really synergize as well. Oh, that's and a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a huge problem in in terms of like Toki's deck right now. Uh, he has a Fury War X here, but that's not gonna kill off the uh, what do you call this? The Nat Pagel. I would have actually just uh, coin out the Harvest Golem. Coin out the Harvest opinion. Golem. Yeah, I think coining out the Harvest Golem should generally help him a bit. Um, it will provide a bit of a for control, but there we go. It's not a 10-5 and Dread of the Clock going to be played by Wen Sushi already. Toki, in a lot of trouble, Toki has got a lot of minions in his hand, but none can really address the 4-6. And the best part about Wen Sushi's play here is that Nat Pagel is going to be fishing all year long for sh uh, all this salmon and all that all that kind of <laughs> uh, fish. And I don't know, man. Yeah. It's it's just like... It's like Nat Pagel... He's no longer using a fishing rod, he's just going to use a net and just basically easy wipe the, the problem here, with especially... Uh, I know that you're playing a warrior and you want to use your weapon as much as possible to hit the face, but I just think that if he had played another way, like if he did it the other way around, he just played the the Harvest Golem, Oh well. he would have... Uh, the next turn he would have been able to play both his weapon and the... Okay, at least the net stayed now. Yeah, Nat's dead, Nat. but yeah, Nat's dead for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I this is just You gotta calm the fuck down, son. Yeah, that's <laughs> a bit of good old advice here from Babel, you always have to calm the fuck down. But anyway, it seems like the Drift of the Claw is gonna be used next turn. Winsushi again's gonna have a four six on the board, and the best part is the fisherman's still fishing. It's like this is like the harvest season for all the fishes there, it's just completely yeah. disgusting. But you know what, Wensushi, he doesn't have any luck at all, look at that. That Pagel not yeah. working, he is just AFK Pagel right now. <laughs> AFK Pagel, no more, no bagels for you. Yeah. So sad for, for them. Look at this, okay, he can't even, he can't even do anything. Look at the, if he plays his, uh, his uh, Arcanite Reaper, he still can't kill off the, well he can kill off the 4-6 by running the Leopard Gnome into it. But the thing is he has no freaking minion on the board after that, so yeah, not sure about that. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know man, it's, okay, it's at least the, spot. yeah, it is, of course, it's, he's been in the tough spot for a very long time, but the AFK Piggle is just really, it's disgusting, you know, he's gonna have to fish something, it's been three turns already, where the hell are the fishes? The fishes are asleep. There we go, finally caught one, yeah, oh, like after one whole Keeper year. 
That's like that's actually a nice I mean, card for him to draw. Okay, you don't even let Pega leave so long in a proper play, and Toki here is uh, apparently a little bit new. So yeah. I don't blame him. I would have run Quokon Elite into the net Pagel so early on. It seems like he's gonna go for face and face suck, like what Seth would say, is the best threat after all. To a yeah. certain extent it is, you know, you have to agree with me on that. But it may not necessarily work all the time. Um yeah. especially against a druid man. Yeah, I mean he should know druids are gonna rape him when the game gets later. Right, like right now he doesn't even have much uh He's still going for face. Yeah, he's going for face, which is, I mean, like like Seth said in the previous, like yesterday, he has, uh, I, I think it was Blooded who was playing, he has to go, uh, no, no, not Blooded, Crazer, yeah, when Crazer was behind, he has to go for face because he's so, he's, he's so invested into it that he can't just halfway change his mind and decide to clear board, he has to go all in right now. The Druid is down to 10 life, which is very... Uh, it, it's it's scary, but the thing is, he can clear board plus he can heal himself because he has a, a double ancient of war in his hand. So he d he doesn't need to worry too much about this. He can clear board so easily. Even if there's weapons, he still will be fine. So, I mean that that's what happens, when, especially when you face against a druid deck like this, uh, that Wen Sushi is using using because once he reaches the late game. Even though you tried hitting face for as much as possible, if you didn't get the cards that you needed, you practically ran out of steam. Yeah, and steam is just gonna be going out of. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be out real soon for Toki here. Toki, if you look at it, um, so acidic swamus. Wow, okay, that's not even gonna help him anything. I would say playing the night blade's gonna at least you know nullify the shield. But the 10 health that the druid has is going to be so tricky. Now what Toki can really pray for is for the Akana Reaper. If he has that, it can really just go in and probably <laughs> smash the face of uh, Wensushi. The problem is that Wensushi doesn't even have a taunt. And even if he makes it there, he probably is going to die. It, it's over for Toki. He can... He... He can actually... Uh, he can swipe face, use Wrath on the Nightblade. And... Wait, does he have... Does he have no. little? No, he, no, he doesn't, doesn't have, have little. It. Yeah, he could just. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of, I mean, like he could also just, you know, swipe the four four and still kill off the two two. Ah. Or, I, I, I just, I just like using the wrath on the okay. night blade and then swiping his face because you deal. You just you like your swipe face, bro. That's yeah. You, that, no, that, you, that's you, a... The thing is, you drop him down to, <laughs> you drop him down to ten life. The only he doesn't need to worry about things like uh, mm -hmm. a. Because the only thing that can actually really... He, there's nothing that can kill him. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gromash is not going to help him. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, wait. May, maybe it will. But unfortunately, uh, you know, there's no Gromash in, in the deck of... Uh, of, uh, of uh, what, what's, his, what's his face again? Uh, Toki, yeah. That's right. <laughs> uh, but, there's but no yeah, cross his face. God damn it. Yeah. Lark. lark and yeah. the Lark jokes are just constantly bad. Anyway, we all agree that um, Wunsushi is going to have to clean up the board here. If not, he's going to take uh, unwanted damage to a certain extent. He's actually going to replace the Zudrake with the other one, and it's uh, equivalent to just go away. Wow, that's a pretty good card to draw right now, but does he want to play the Harvest Golem, or is he going to save for something a little bit bigger next game? Ah, finally, Pigle caught another one, but not... not. I, I mean, it's not the best cards that uh, Pigle's been catching, but I would say that Savage Raw is going to be able to win this game next turn. I, I just still don't see the point of him playing, doing that play earlier on in terms of Wen Sushi, he should have just wrapped the 4-4 oh, and then swipe his face, he would have been down a 10. Yeah, uh, you know, mm -hmm. th the thing is that there is a Warsong Commander, but um, he's probably done here. Yeah, of course, he, he yeah. is dead. There, there is nothing, there's really nothing that Toki can do. We already know that he's going to be dead. It's just over, it's just a matter of time. Look at that. Look at the cards in hand for uh, mm -hmm. when Sushi is just screaming, "I'm going to kill you right now." All he needs to do right now just is just screaming rape short. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Rape. 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 Rape all day. He, he just needs to swipe here and. You know, I mean, the amount of keep... cards in hand of when Sushi up against that of yeah. um, Toki is just completely imbalanced right now. And if you think about it, really, this is why you don't let the fisherman live. Exactly. You, you don't let the fisherman live. He had he had so many options to to. You know, clear that off. He had a lot of those charge minions. He he was too invested in trying to go for face, and you can't really do that against a druid who, who most of you know. It's very common that druids play the mid mid to late game, so he practically screwed himself over there uh, in yeah, terms of Toki's side. And when Sushi, I wouldn't say he really like that was like spectacular mm -hmm. performance. He made a couple of mistakes as well, but. He had the more superior deck, so that's the reason why he kind of won there. 
Yeah, he did. He did. He made a lot of, uh, uh, well, good decisions in drafting. Maybe not so, not so much in terms of having the best decisions in the game itself. But that's all right. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Once we're just gonna be up about two games here up against Toki. Toki, unfortunately, not able to take any single point away from that. In case you guys do not know, this is a group stage, and all the players gonna play against each other. Um, we're gonna have to consolidate the play with the most amount of wins, and only one out of four player in every single group will go to the cycle playoffs. That's it. This is um, this is the first match today, so we have a total of five other matches that's gonna come out real soon. This is Babel, Jeremy, and Slark. We'll see you guys in a short while. Lark, anything before we move off? Um, patience is key. Hugging face. Here comes can work sometimes. <laughs> but, no, but yeah, I mean, uh, really, uh, the first game wasn't as spectacular as I thought. Mm, well, yeah. to be honest, I already expected this would kind of happen because just looking at the deck lists, but uh, I'm more inclined to see what's going to happen in the next game. I do mm -hmm. believe the next game is going to be... Who is it going to be? It's going to be... Silver and Iron, I'm Silver sure. and Iron, yeah. Yeah, we're so going to set it up real be... soon. Yeah, we'll be back in just about um, 15 minutes, so do take a bit of a chill break. We'll be back real soon with more games in Group B. This is EHL Season 1, Cycle 1. See you guys in the show, guys.